Morning, church. How are you today? Hey, we are really excited that you're here and we are talking about faith and miracles in this period. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. So if you have the time, I want you to check out John 11 there. It's a brilliant passage. It includes the words, if you read it in the New King James, but Lord, he stinketh, which is often words I use about my eight-year-old son. But he's a good lad. He just needs to learn some personal hygiene. Um, but that's not what I wanted to focus on just now. The verse that I wanted to focus on just now, which I think is super helpful, is this. John 11, verse 40. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? What's the glory of God? It can be many, many things. But obviously, one day when we get to heaven, we're going to see him in all his glory and all his splendor and all his brilliance but here and now right now on earth in that passage it meant the glory of God he turned up in a powerful way that is just supernatural it's beyond belief it's beyond expectation it's beyond what normal natural is he raised somebody back to life in that point in time so for me the glory of God in today's society is seeing him move in ways that are undeniably him so if you believe which is the the word what Jesus says you can see him move in undeniable ways in today's society I'm up for that are you to help you understand what that looks like I want to just share a personal story with you when I many 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 moons ago when I was a youth pastor I took our uh, worship band to play at the Scottish youth camp so it was seven days of worship, pre preaching, moments with God, football, food, friends. It was absolutely epic. Uh, every afternoon we would play football as a band and we'd challenge other youth leaders or youth or whatever and we're playing football. Anyway, one day, the towering strong defender that I am, I went up for a big header, rose like a salmon, <laughs> cleared the ball away, averting a certain goal, and then crumpled in a heap like a dying firework. Yes, firework, because there was lots of squealing and screaming, and it wasn't pretty. No blood, but not pretty. What I'd done was, as I landed, I landed straight on my ankle, it went over one way, and in the reaction, went over the other way. I was in agony. Not like boy agony, actual real agony. And um, so I got pulled to the side, first aid I came along, says, well, you're going to have to go to the hospital. So I went to the hospital, a couple of hours waiting, hospital, x-ray, all that, and then this, the um, specialist came and saw me and said, well, you've um, torn the ligaments, both sides of your ankle, that's really quite bad. And I'm like, okay, what's, what, what's the procedure for getting fixed? What, what, what? And he said these words, I'll never forget them. He said, well, if you wanted help, it would be better of you to have broken it. I'm like, what do you mean, broken it? Because then he would say, you would see me physically fixing it. Right now, the only thing you can do is rest, keep it iced, and keep it strapped up. I'm like, that's it. Well, that sounds like it'll be pretty quick. I'll end fairly quickly then. Yeah, 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 great. No, no, no. I said, right, how long before I can play football again? Because I was in the football kit. He's like, um... You know, six months or something. I'm like, what? He said, maybe three. Maybe three. Oh, okay. I said, and then this was the big question. How long before I can play golf? And he's like, mm -hmm. I didn't like the sound of that. Mm -hmm. Six weeks. I'm like, what? No golf for six weeks. This is not happening. This is like a mind-blowing, awful. This is not good. So I go away with some, you know, some bandages some ice packs and the instruction keep your leg raised that's it well you know meant I couldn't drive so my friend drove me home from youth camp <clears throat> get back I'm really I'm really I, yes I'm in pain the whole thing's swollen up it's black and blue my foot's black and blue underneath on top everything a really intense colour of purple it was it was grim and I, on that night the last night before Five young lads, no more than 15, had come up to me and said, hey, we're going to pray that your leg gets healed, that you can play football and golf again way quicker. And I'm like, really? So, that we prayed. I, I must admit, I, I, I think those lads had more faith than me. 
they believed more than me. They, they were saying, he's going to play golf soon, he's going to play football soon. And in the back of my mind, I'm like, nah. I've had the doctor's words. Anyway, I got home, my friend dropped me off, and I was in the house, I was really sad. And I just thought, no, let's be honest. The Bible says this. The Bible says God's a healer. The Bible says God can do above all your hopes and dreams. I'm like, okay, I'm going to believe. I actually, I'm going to believe that his words are more powerful than the words of the doctor. And from that point on, I started to, every time my leg felt sore, I just was saying, hey, thanks God, you're going to heal this. Thanks for healing it. Thanks for healing it. I was due to play in a golf tournament the next day. So I phoned my mate and said, I'm coming. I didn't know if I could drive. So, but I thought at least I can hobble around. But maybe I'll be better, better. No, I'm going to. I'm gonna go and put my clubs in my car. So I put my clubs in my car. I got everything ready, all the sweets, chocolate, everything that you need for a good, proper golf trip. I woke up the next day. Next day it didn't feel as sore. So I drove to my friend's house. Then I drove an hour to the golf tournament. Then I played 18 holes of golf. Then I drove home with a second place medal in my pocket. It was unbelievable. Yes, it was a little bit sore, but I could play golf much to not what the doctor said. Then football training was on the Wednesday. That's only f five days after, after the incident. I went to football training, wearing my football kit, thinking I can, I can, I can play this. Yes, there were a few painkillers here and there, but I played football. Everything that was told to me that I couldn't do, I could do. And now, no problems at all. Was that God moving? A hundred percent. Because the doctor said X. But this is what happened. I'm not saying, you know, don't listen to doctors. What I'm saying is, if you believe, because on day one I didn't, it took a couple of days for me to start believing. It took a couple of days for belief to start working itself out in my hands and my actions and in my talk. If you believe, you can see the glory of God. Church, I'm just going to pray now. Father, thank you for what you're doing in people's lives. And I pray right now for people who are need that your glory to fall upon their life, for a miracle to happen, for something powerful to happen. We pray right now that you will turn up and do something incredible. In your name, amen.